Good day, everyone. It is a pleasure to present and share a study titled Enhancing Elementary Students' Academic Performance in General Science Through 3D Printed Models. I am Desiree Hitek, and together with my colleague, Ms. Nobi Hitek, will serve as the presenting authors for our study. Our co-authors are Ms. Adolfa Dunuan, Ms. Perlin Ugaldi, and Mr. Peter Paul Canuto. And we are from Ifago State University, Tino Campos, Philippines. As an overview, we'll be presenting our study's introduction, methodology, results, findings and discussions, conclusions and impact, and the references. To begin with, and for the introduction, three-dimensional printing or 3DP technology is one of the innovative technologies and is becoming a popular educational material. It can revolutionize science education by allowing students to interact with complex scientific concepts tangibly and engagingly. 3DP technology, also known as additive manufacturing or AM, is a technique of creating a three-dimensional or 3D solid object of almost any shape from a digital model through the depositing of successive layers of materials with the use of computer-aided design or CAD and 3D printers. The use of 3DP technologies in teaching elementary level science lessons is quickly progressing in science education. It allows science teachers to train abstract concepts into something students can touch, explore, and better understand. With our literature reviews, we found several studies supporting the integration of 3DP in science education. For example, one study signified that 3DP provides teachers with tools to design innovative instructional strategies that ensure active participation and engagement of the students during the lessons. Another study noted that integrating 3DP into a cross-disciplinary STEAM project positively impacts student learning and engagement. Also, another study noted that it is a valuable tool for improving the effectiveness and engagement of chemistry education within STEM disciplines. Like Likewise, it allows students to interact with accurate representations of the Earth's surface to help them better understand complex geological processes. Lastly, a study determined that 3DP can create realistic rock specimens and geotechnical models where the students enhance their spatial reasoning and analytical skills, which are important in science education. The use of 3DP in science education is supported by several educational theories. Phase. 3DP aligns with constructivism by allowing students to create tangible models of scientific concepts and visualize and manipulate abstract ideas to foster more profound understanding. By facilitating active participation and allowing for immediate feedback through physical objects, 3DP supports the constructivist principle that learning is most effective when students are directly involved in the process and can reflect on and refine their understanding. Second, 3DP supports inquiry-based learning by providing a tool for students to bring ideas to life, allowing them to design, Tests and modify physical models based on their questions and hypotheses. It enables students to visualize and physically engage with abstract ideas, ultimately cultivating curiosity, critical thinking, and a deeper appreciation for science. Third, active learning emphasizes students' participation, critical thinking, and collaborative problem solving, and 3DP aligns perfectly with these principles by allowing students to interact directly with the content they are studying. Instead of passively receiving information, students can create and manipulate 3D models of scientific concepts, turning abstract ideas into tangible interactive objects. With this, we were able to identify the following research gaps. Despite the potential of 3DP to improve instruction, there is a lack of research studies concerning the interdisciplinary integration of 3DP technology, particularly in elementary schools. A knowledge gap exists in exploring the impact of 3DP in improving student scientific literacy. This highlights the need for further investigation into how 3DP can be effectively integrated into elementary science education, especially in the locality. Therefore, the study aimed to explore the impact of using GDP science models as educational tools on students' academic performance in elementary general science. It also aimed to determine the students' perceptions of using GDP science models in teaching and learning. The following questions guided the study. Number one, what are students' academic performance in science before and after integrating 3DP science models as educational materials. Number two, is there a significant difference in students' academic performance in science before and after using 3DP science models? And number three, what are the students' perceptions regarding using 3DP science models in learning science lessons? For the methodology, the study utilized an explanatory sequential design where the quantitative phase occurred first followed by the qualitative phase. In the quantitative phase, the Classroom Action Research Model by Sussman 1983 was utilized. This model had five phases, including diagnosing, 
planning, taking action, evaluating, and specifying learning. Furthermore, a quasi-experiment was used to collect the quantitative data through pre-test and post-test assessments. Subsequently, the qualitative phase used a semi-structured interview. It used guide questions consisting of a predefined set of open-ended questions to gather rich, detailed information while ensuring that key topics were covered. The participants involved in the study composed of 24 grade 3 students at Tinoc Central School, Tinoc, Ifugao, Philippines. The participants were purposely selected based on the school head suggestions and the researchers assigned class. Specifically, the participants comprise 45.8% males and 54.2% females. Total enumeration involving all 23 students was used during the quantitative phase. On the other hand, there were only 11 students who volunteered to be interviewed during the qualitative phase. The study was conducted from February to April 2025 during the third quarter of academic year 2024 and 2025. The 3DP science models used as educational materials were based on the K-12 science curriculum learning competencies and general science topics during the study. The study included animals models such as turtles, monkeys, birds, octopus, lobsters, dolphins, and others. Due to time constraints, limited 3D printer available, and the demand of long printing time, the researchers did not design any of the models. Instead, the models were carefully selected and primarily downloaded from trusted open online resources. They were sourced out from several authors or designers. The researchers simply modified the animal model sizes and directly printed them. The researchers do not claim ownership and intellectual property of any of the 3D model designs. In particular, the study used the A1 Mini Desktop 3D printer with single color printing with its own Bamboo Studio slicing software. The models were printed using polylactic acid or PLA and acrylonitrile butadiene styrene or UPS filaments, which are very common among filament types for 3DP. The instrument used in the quantitative phase consisted of 10 standardized test items, which were adapted from the DeepEd approved grade 3 teacher science models. This ensures that the items were already valid and reliable. Meanwhile, the guide questions used in the semi structure interview during the qualitative phase underwent construct validation from three professional elementary teachers handling science subjects in the same school. This validation aims to accurately measure the constructs of the study that are intended to measure. The teacher suggestions were incorporated into the final structure of the guide questions. The conduct of the study followed the explanatory sequential design and action research. Pre-test assessment was first conducted to determine the initial academic performance of the students. This was followed by the action paper where the 3 dp science models were integrated in the lessons. Afterward, post-assessments was done to determine the progress of the students. After the relation and analysis of quantitative data, the semi-structured interviews were conducted. The students' local language was used. Then, transcriptions of the interviews followed through. English trans translations were then applied and was cross-checked by an English language specialist who is also fluent in the local language. Thereafter, thematic analysis was done on the response to determine emerging themes. Presentation of results and findings concluded the study's conduct. Quantitative and qualitative data analysis and management techniques were used to comprehensively understand the impact of integrating 3DP science models on students' academic performance in science and their perceptions of it. Quantitative data were gathered through pre- and post-test assessments and analyzed using descriptive and inferential statistics. Mean, standard deviations, percentages, p-tests, and cohens they were determined. Qualitative data were collected through semi-structured interviews and analyzed using thematic analysis. Audio recordings, transcriptions, and translation were appropriately stored and retrieved only for the study's purpose. Test papers were directly returned to students after recording the results in a spreadsheet, ensuring transparency and immediate feedback. Data results were presented in appropriate tables. Informed consent was obtained from students, parents, or guardians who were assured of their right to withdraw at any time without penalty. The confidentiality and anonymity of students were maintained by anonymizing all personal information and securely storing data. The study prioritized minimizing harm, ensuring that any discomfort was addressed and that students' well-being was safeguarded throughout the study. To ensure the safety of the students, all three designs models were printed according to appropriate size and shape standards to avoid choking hazard or injury from sharp edges. The researchers closely supervised the students when they were handling the models. The research was conducted with integrity, ensuring transparent and honest reporting of results with any conflicts of interest disclosed. Ethical standards were adhered to. 
including gender and cultural sensitivity and compliance with relevant data protection laws. Here is an overview of the study's quantitative results and qualitative findings. This ends my part of the presentation. My colleague, Ms. Novi, will continue the presentation. Thank you very much, Ms. Desiree, for presenting our study's introduction and methodology. To continue with the results and findings, this table shows students' academic performance in general science before and after integrating 3D models. The results show an improvement in student scores with an increased post-test score compared to pre-test score. Average pre-test score is 57.92%. Some of the students perform below the passing rate of 60%. Only few students attain better scores higher than 60%. This shows a general need for improvement in knowledge retention and comprehension among the students. On the other hand, the average post-test score is 85%. Most students were able to achieve better scores. Some students are still below the passing rate, though there is a noticeable increase in their scores compared to the pre-test. In general, the post-test results show increased academic performance in science for students after integrating 3D models. This table indicates a significant difference in students' academic performance during and after the intervention with 3D science models. There is a significant improvement from pre-test scores to the post-test scores. This reflects a substantial improvement in a student's academic performance in general science. Additional analysis indicates a large effect between performance scores. These findings imply that incorporating 3DP technology in the classroom can effectively improve students' learning outcomes in science education. Based from the interviews, there are five emerging main themes from students' responses. The first theme pertains to impact on learning and performance. Subteam 1 refers to the students' improved academic performance. The students attributed their understanding of the lesson to the use of 3D models. They credited the models for clarifying complex concepts such as animal habitats and appearances and facilitating their scientific comprehension during discussion. The model helped them grasp the lesson better, improving understanding and academic performance. Something to relate to the students' increased motivation. The use of 3D models motivated the students to learn more. As students say the models motivated them to be more attentive and listen well during the discussions. The models sparked their interest, allowing them to understand the lesson better. Fourteen three refers to the student's elevated sense of enjoyment. Integrating models enhance the student's sense of enjoyment in learning the science lessons. The students were happier due to the dynamic nature of the models. They have shown elevated satisfaction while engaging with the models due to their moving parts. Second main theme pertains to the challenges experienced by the students in using the 3D printed models. Subteam 1 refers to the models susceptible to breaking. The durability of the 3D models was a concern. With some students noting that most were susceptible to breaking, they described that some models were smaller, thinner, and prone to damage. Students mentioned that the models could easily snap and break, making them nervous to hold some models. The subteam refers to the model's inaccurate representations. Some students pointed out specific model inaccuracies, such as incorrect colors or missing features. As students pointed out that the dolphin's color should be grayish to reflect its real-life appearance accurately. Another remark that lobster should have antennae, which were absent in the model. The team refers to the scarcity of models. The scarce number of models available for use was a drawback. This caused the students to share the models with their peers and pass them around the classroom. Students shared that this led to conflicts among classmates over access to the models. Part subteam refers to the model's plastic smell. The students have contrasting smells of the models. Others indicated that they could not smell anything at all. However, some shared that the model smelled plastic, which was appealing. A student expressed a strong adverse reaction by stating that the models smelled bad. The third main theme pertains to the physical characteristics of the models. First subteam refers to the model's vibrant colors. The students provided passive feedback about the vibrant colors of the models. They described the colors are appealing and striking. A student expressed that the models are visually appealing, making the models enjoyable to look at. Another indicated the model's variety of light and dark colors, making them striking to observe. 
Second sub-team refers to the model's compact sizes. The students can read the description of the models of varying sizes, mostly indicating small sizes. A student called the models cute in size, while another highlighted that they come in various sizes. One student mentioned that although one is larger, a specific model share the same display size. Third sub-team refers to the model's movable parts. Students appreciated the moving parts of some models, finding them fun to handle during lessons. They shared that the articulated parts of the models were easy to move, some parts were easily manipulated and repositioned. Fourth main team pertains to the student's subjective preference toward the 3D models. First sub-team refers to more model units. If students express a strong desire for more units of models, they expressed that having additional models would enhance their understanding of the lesson. A student suggested having more models with articulated movements. Another relay that sharing and competition will not occur if more models are available. Open sub-team refers to the model's assortment of sizes. Students had varying preferences for the size of models. Some preferred larger models, others liked smaller ones. One mentioned that smaller models were easier to hold. The fifth and last main theme pertain to students' ideas for improving the 3D models. Students suggested several enhancements for model designs. This include having a wider variety of animal models, more correct colors, larger sizes, and models that are more durable and easier to handle. They emphasize greater diversity, realistic color accuracy, and improved usability. By the conclusion, 3D models are valuable educational tools for teaching science. The study showed that 3D models as educational materials positively affected students' academic performance in science. The results and findings reveal that 3D models enhance students' engagement, motivation, and understanding of complex concepts. This study highlights the potential of 3D printing technology to enhance learning experiences and address the challenges of low science literacy among Filipino students. According to the study, 3DP as an educational material in general science for education can offer various benefits in enhancing students' understanding, engagement, and overall learning experience. This study may serve the purpose of captivating students' attention and motivating them to learn and have a deeper understanding of general science education. The researchers hope the study will be used appropriately and be valuable resource for other researchers planning similar studies. And here are the references we use in our study. This ends our presentation. Once again, this is our title, Enhancing Elementary Students' Academic Performance in General Science Through 3D Printed Models. I am Novi Hitek, and together with Ms. Desire Hitek, have presented our study. Our co-authors are Ms. Adelpha Dunuan, Ms. Ferlin Ugali, and Mr. Peter Paul Canoto. And we are from Ifugao State University, Tino Campos, Philippines. Thank you very much.